Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your April 2021 tarot reading, monthly tarot reading. And it is for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the month. Okay, so what do we have for our lovely Aries, please? It is your season for the majority of April. So what is the message for Aries? Okay, two cards there. We have the Five of Swords and we have the Ace of Wands. <clears throat> message for Aries, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Aries. Thank you. Message for our lovely Aries. Thank you. Okay, we have... If you believe, I mean, this is a symbol of creation. It's like the um, Archangel Metatron symbol. Um, creating something, you have the power to create this reality for yourself. That's what that angel is telling you. And we have, ask your angels. Okay. Okay, Aries, so I'm going to pull four cards. Roughly works out as one card per month. Sorry, per week, I should say. So what do we have for Aries, please? Message for Aries. And then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message as we always do. And remember, it doesn't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. Okay. Message for Aries. Thank you. <clears throat> so we have the two of cups. Three of Wands, Aries energy, very nice. Ace of Cups, Aries, very nice indeed. And the Ace of Swords, Aces, two Aces, three Aces actually. Message for Aries, please. Too many. Message for Aries, please. Can we clarify the cards on the table for April 2021? April 2021 for Aries. Thank you. What does Aries need to hear the most? What does Aries need to hear the most? Queen of Cups. We have the tower here, Aries. I don't mind the tower as much with you because it is your Mars ruler. You generally know how to deal with towers very well, which what this three of wands is telling you. Um, Ten of swords. Three of swords. Nine of wands. It feels like you're conflicted over some kind of new beginning or new opportunity here. There's definitely this energy here, Aries, of creating something new. I mean, this it, it's a powerful energy, that creation symbol, because the new is waiting to come in. I mean, th th it is what the universe is trying to align you to. So aces are the new beginnings, the beginnings of something new, um, new doors opening. And with the ace of wands, I mean, it's fire energy, it's your element, it's something exciting, it's connected to your heart and soul, um, promises growth if you take action towards it. And when the ace of wands appears, <clears throat> it requires action, it requires for you to you know, get hold of that door and open it, you know, it, it is that kind of now is the time to act energy, um, act on what feels right, I mean, the Ace of Wands can be also an opportunity, 
uh, can be to do with passions, desires in terms of something that you love, can also be to do with business career. You know, again, it's heart and soul energy. I always give the example of the Ace of Wands as, you know, sometimes we visit somewhere and we feel so at home there that we want to move there. You know, it can be that kind of heart and soul energy, something that really pulls you that requires you to act because it's something that you just absolutely want to align to. So it's that kind of energy here, um, Aries. But we then have this card of conflict. You're, conflict. you're conflicted about this new opportunity. Hmm. And it's interesting because I have the Nine of Wands here, the Wounded warrior, warrior, something is, you know, which can generally represent something is nearly at completion. With the Ten being a completion, and I have the Tenth Wand also here. So it feels for some of you, you're being told to let go. You have the power to really create something beautiful here. I mean, my goodness, this is beautiful, but there's conflict. And I'm feeling with this Five of Swords, it's inner conflict. <clears throat> this can be a card of negative thinking conflict. Because you can't see how something's going to pan out, because you can't predict how something's going to go, there's some kind of reservation that I'm feeling here, Aries. I mean, this is, you know, traditional emperor energy. You are the emperor, that you are, this is the young emperor, you know? And I'm definitely getting this energy of, you know, because you can't just predict how something's going to turn out there's some kind of feeling of reservation you're conflicted about going for it and yet for some of you very clearly it feels like there's a new person in coming into your life I mean <clears throat> queen of cups can be a new person coming into your life male or female energy it feels to do with offering love and it feels like you're developing feelings for somebody new I mean it feels like the feelings are mutual here mutual feelings of attraction Definitely getting this energy here, Aries. Yeah. So there's definitely someone that you're powerfully attracted to. But you're kind of thinking, oh no, here I go again. <laughs> because the message is... you've been. It feels for some of you, you're either dealing with a tower moment and or you know, whatever this tower represents for you, the tower is some kind of life-changing, um, <clears throat> life-changing event. I mean, it can be where the old is torn down to make way for the new. It can be about revelation, truth, it can be a destruction energy. It can also be an energy of things change for the sake of change needs to come in. For some of you, I'm feeling that the tower moment is there's something good coming your way which is going to bring change in your life powerful life-changing event it feels good i mean like i said with aries i mean you understand how to deal with tower moments in any situation but it's the way that universe says right the old it's time for this old to come down this is divine intervention um, <clears throat> and it feels like you're meeting somebody here who is absolutely divinely timed for you and the universe is almost kind of like saying, now is the time to embrace this change. Don't be conflicted about it, but actually go for it. There's expansion, there's growth, there's success coming your way. And it feels to do with a relationship here. So there's definitely an energy of go for it, take the initiative, something good. You know, it feels like there's something good going coming your way. And it feels like good change, you know. <clears throat> The Two of Cups, you know, the Queen of Cups next to this tower, it feels like this new beginning is exactly where you need to be. And it feels like that's what the universe is telling you. Let's cl clarify this tower. Yeah, we have the King of Swords, which interestingly enough is power of the mind energy. And here we have the sword energy, the Five of Swords, 
which can be about conflict, somebody being conflicted in the mind. And yet there's an energy here with the King of Swords of seeing something clearly here, Aries. It feels like it's all part of the vision. I mean, he's a visionary energy. This tower, it feels it's all part of the vision. You know, it's all part of your future. And this is new world energy. This is destruction of the old in order to make way for this kind of new world energy. You could be, I mean, we have Cancer, we have Aquarius here, so you might be dealing with Aquarius or Cancer. Um, but there's definitely an energy of manifesting something beautiful. Um, something that's absolutely connecting to your heart soul something that you don't have control over you know there's definitely some kind of energy here with the tower energy I have no control over this so I am conflicted and yet there is this kind of like new world energy that I'm seeing with that king of swords in just open up to that new vision of seeing things clearly, you know, and, and going for it. The King of Swords is, this is where I want to be. I'm just going over in this direction. And that is it. You know, it's full mental clarity. So I definitely get for you in this energy, there's some kind of new world energy that wants to come in. And it is because we've got so many aces in this reading. I've got so many aces. It's a new chapter energy, um, which is why the tower is here, because it's the tearing down of the old. And you understanding that you have the power to start constructing a new tower, a new reality for yourself, which is, if you really believe it. There has been hurt before here, Aries, with the Ten of Swords, tough hurt, difficult hurt. Um, you know, but it's over. I mean, the, the Ten of Swords is a ten, it's a completion. And this is about allowing a new day, a new dawn to rise now, pushing away the dark clouds, the negativity that has hovered maybe in your mind, in your internal energy, in your perceptions of love, but also in, in your physical reality as well. Because it's time to let a new day rise and let the dark clouds go. I mean, that's what the Ten of Swords is asking you to do. Even though this is tough energy, it can be about betrayal, uh, being deeply wounded by someone. It can be to do with deep hurts, deep wounds, betrayal, um, loss, you know, all of that kind of energy. It, it, there's definitely an energy, of you. Have, there's new feelings for somebody. There's somebody new and there's new feelings for somebody. And here's the thing, the hurt of the past. Again, Three of Swords can be third party situations, the heartbreak card. A difficult truth coming to light that hurt you deeply, that floored you. I mean, it really floored you for a period of time. You know, let's be real. It, this this energy floored you. Um, and it feels like it because it's something that you're still dealing with. Whenever this happened, it's something that you're still dealing with. But here's the thing. You are claiming some victory over it. You are seeing through the illusion of how it's held you back and ready to cut cords and open a new door now this is about empowerment it's the warrior sword it's claiming that victory and the crown that you know whatever if there's been deep change in your circumstances and um, if you have dealt with tower moments with this ten of swords and three of swords there's an energy of this is you getting your crown back this is an empowering energy. This is breakthrough energy. This is I'm ready to be freed of the ties of the past. So the Nine of Swords is asking you, when everyone's gone home, why is somebody still fighting the battle that's finished? And it is because you're still holding on to the past journey and not allowing the new to come in. And that's where that 10th wand comes in because it is telling you to complete. You know, there is some exciting opportunity, new doors opening for you. It feels to do with love, romance, relationships, very powerfully. And this new person, it feels natural with them. It feels like they connect to you on a deep level. It definitely feels like you have new feelings for them here, Aries. And the message is cut ties with the past. 
and just embrace this new world energy now because for some of you it's waiting and it's divinely guided and it's part of your destiny and the tower is certainly saying that's what you're being aligned to this new opportunity so it feels for some of you there is somebody who is coming in that is bringing some kind of life-changing uh, life-changing event to your world and I definitely feel for some of you this is about don't hold back take off the armor take off the armor yeah it's a powerful reading Aries but it feels very beautiful final message for Aries it feels someone significant as well like-minded souls kindred spirits remember the the ace of cups is the cup of joy it's happiness it's that cup having felt the hurt the cup being filled again it's that emotional rebirth yeah <laughs> You are the butterfly, I mean, it is emerging, you are emerging. The, take the leap of faith, look, take the leap of faith. That's what you're being told, take that leap of faith. Isn't that beautiful? That is the message from Spirit. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Aries. I hope you have a wonderful April and I will see you next time. Thank you.